This is the removed upper mechanism of the Wurlitzer 1800 jukebox. The major problem with the mechanism was that the, uh, the record clamp fingers were not working properly. They weren't engaging the record. And I took, the, I took this mechanism all the way apart, this turntable. This comes off. You, you take the flywheel off with these three screws and then you take off the pulley and then you can get the get the shaft out. There's some washers and then a, a ball bearing, a uh, thrust bearing behind the turntable. And then I took it all apart. I even took these little these little fingers off which, with these screws here and it was kind of difficult to get them back on. But finally what I figured out the problem was was that this inner shaft here which operates the clamp fingers see right there right there between the uh, between this disc in there, it was really uh, nicked up. Like someone had tried to clamp vice grips on it, or I don't know what had been done to it, but it was really, uh, it was really kind of rough. And the problem was that when, and the way it works is that the mechanism pulls down on this cable here, that moves this cam, and then in this position here, this is the standby position, and the turntable here is retracted, or the, the hub is retracted back into the turntable. The tone arm is up at the, up at the top there. But then what happens when the mechanism goes into the play position, the cam starts to rotate, it releases the tension on it, there's spring tension held on it, and then this, this goes all the way in here. And you'll notice what happens is, First the turntable pops out to go into the record and then the and then the second part of it you can see here the clamp fingers go down to hold the record onto the turntable. Well, what was happening was that the mechanism was jamming right about at this point here because of roughness on the shaft. And so when it was when it finished, then the cam turned all the way in, this was kind of like this. It was sticking like this, and you can even see that in the, in the first video I made. Therefore, the little fingers were all the way retracted. So I took the entire thing apart, I, I ground down that shaft gently using a, a sanding disc, and then I re-lubricated it and I got all those burrs and stuff off and now it seems to it seems to work like it should I'm gonna I don't know if I can get a record on there one-handed or not but I can try to demonstrate I may have to actually make another video to do that but I'll demonstrate how the record is actually clamped to the turntable because I'll need to get both hands on the mechanism here to operate it but I'll go ahead and do that I'll just make another short video showing that. Here is a problem I've encountered, another problem I've encountered in almost every Wurlitzer jukebox, and that is bad motor mounts. And the earliest models using this design, and uh, this, uh, this record player design is used um, from, I think, the model 1700 up to the 3300. There were some changes along the way. Later models don't have this uh, worm gear type motor set up. They use a direct drive motor. And on the direct drive motor, it's mounted, uh, it's mounted this way rather than transverse, or rather than, rather than longitudinally. And when the motor mounts fail on the more modern setups, the effects are even worse as far as what it does. They all use the same kind of mounts. And let's see where they are here. I know I had some. They were right here. I don't know what ended up happening to them. Oh, they're down under the record here. Here's some brand new ones. We're going to order some more and keep them in stock. I, I think that the more modern ones have three rubber mounts on it. This one has one E-clip and grommet mount and two uh, solid rubber ones, but they really degrade over time. Also, we're going to put some new insulation on the old cloth-covered wiring going into the motor. We'll try to run it all the way, run the heat shrink tubing all the way into the core to help give it better insulation. 
But let me make another video here showing how the record is actually clamped.